Alright, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to our first UBL battle actually, which is really, 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 really cool. Uh, we actually tried to set this up for what is it, over an hour now. Um, and we're gonna wish you sorry, good luck, have fun. Uh, hopefully I recorded um, a battle before going into this game, uh, or a, a team builder, as I was really unsure how I wanted to tackle this game. I actually decided to do a bit of a hybrid and brought the banded variants of the Manitan and um, stick away with the Galventula. We'll see how that works. I'm not super, <laughs> super convinced it will. Uh, so check my opponents here, we see Rose Rage. We saw Gilead, which was obviously a very strong press here. So Rose Rage, Chandelure, which is really tough. Chandelure, and then we have Excadrill. We have Mantine. Which can be annoying, Hydreigon, which I believe to be Scarf this game. Hydreigon is something I fear, and I hope I kinda tackle that in my video. And I actually have two Pokemons that are weak to Hazards, and I have nothing to get that away, and that's the intent. Um, so basically, like, eventually it's fairly good overall, but, um, I think my best lead here is Jum Jum. And Jum Jum is, of course, our beast, our monster, our Galarian Darmanitan. And we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna shut down Discord mainly to, uh, to speed up the process on the recordings here. Not not necessarily speed it up, but rather have it in better quality. Of course, you know what I mean. So yeah, cool. I didn't think I changed the theme. Probably should have done that. <laughs> but anyway, the intention is to use uh, music anyway. So we're gonna lower down the music on the game, and he starts up with Hydreigon, which was something I fed. Um, well, here's the thing. If it is Scarfed, uh, he's gonna go for a U-turn. And if it isn't, he's gonna switch out, fearing that I am Scarfed. I do switch out first, which I believe is gonna U-turn. Yeah, there it is. We can assume this one is Scarfed. And we're gonna activate our little, little nice Flame Orb. However, the issue here is gonna be one thing. I think that thing is quite obvious, and that is that he's going to be able to set up Hazards. Um, and there isn't really nothing I can do about that. Bronzong is intimidating enough, and I can set up Stealth Rock, which is going to help us out. He has really no way of hurting us, so uh, I'm getting my free rocks. I can only assume it goes either a Leaf Storm, which would be nice. Or more likely, because he could carry Shadow Ball. Yeah, goes with Toxic Spikes, that's alright. Question is, do you want damage on this or what? Wait, is that Shadow Ball is a thing? Let's scout that out. Right, he does decide to switch out to uh, the potato. So we already know this one is scarfed. I 
don't like these switches back and forth, but I'm gonna assume it's gonna go for Fire Blast. Because a neutral Dark Pulse will definitely ruin him a little bit. I actually failed to realize it's Helsinki Potato, of course. It's a play on Vepsis, my mistake. You know, I'm so focused. Really nice touch <laughs> there from our old side. Uh, like I said, assuming to go for Flame Fire Blast. Neutral Dark Pulse would be kind of alright too. Oh, it keeps you turning. And this time I won't do anything. <laughs> actually it did. Ah. Uh, cool. So, so far we haven't been able to touch each other at all. Uh, Rose Raid, I think, is kind of a natural switch in here. And I get myself whittled down really fast. And this time I kind of assume Dark Pulse is gonna. or Shadow is gonna start hurting. Bring back Givenchilla. <laughs> Feeling super confident. Uh, he could just keep on spiking up, I guess. Leech Seed. Well, that works. Alright, that's actually really good. So I definitely know he doesn't have... Uh, or he shouldn't have, I should tell you. Um, a way of... Um, I can't speak. Um, you should have a sludge bomb and... Grasp him, basically. So you go for Lead Seed again. What if I was that obvious? Um, the only merit I have here is... Uh, I mean, I could assume he has Protect. You go for Neutral Bug Buzz and let, see if that happens. How much damage do we do? We do right. We get Spideth Drop, which means it's gonna be KO next time. And Sludge Pump is resisted. Clearly wasn't. Ooh, that's tough. But we got our webs up, so that's gonna be great. Um, do poison kill us? <laughs> this is this is not cool. How is it? <laughs> not not the best turn of events. <laughs> but we have to stick a whip. Um, Oh, that was awful. That was real awful, actually. Right, gonna send in jump jump. And I'll go for a U turn. I believe that's gonna be able to take him out, and I shouldn't take any poison damage. That was really unfortunate. Nice going on Rose Ray though. Should probably... Ah. Uh, no, I, I kind of felt as that was going to be a mistake. So some sand comes in. And this guy's going to be just out of the top round. That is going to be tough to deal with man time. Alright, I gotta go for that Scarf Stone Edge, right? This was clearly not ideal. Should have just went for that banded. Right, connect it. Nice. Doesn't even KO. 
Does he get the defog off? He doesn't. But Skull is gonna KO. Um, this is not going well for us. I don't know what I was assuming this game, but it's not going my way. That's all I can say. Now I need to go for a bandit. Ah, like I had one plan in mind, I really, really regret to do that. Considering the given circumstance right now. But yeah, Ice Glue Crash is our play, and uh, who just would draw um, to Gigalith. All right, and um, he's gonna get the Sun up, which is gonna be annoying. But Bronson should be able to deal with his uh, X Grill and see what this Ice Glue Crash is gonna do. That looks about right. Alright, yeah, keep going, going for it. Basically, do you want to reset the sand or do you want to give this extra little go? You're not going to get up your rocks. And after this, we're actually going to have another team, or I'm going to be able to change the six Pokemon. Um, I had a really struggle with this matchup, though it goes way worse than I thought it would be. So, um, for what it's worth, I do recognize here that while the team had flaws, I'm clearly not helping it a lot. <laughs> it's the only thing, I, or only merit I have versus... Uh, Bronsung is that, uh, or with Bronsung is that I can probably pressure X real quite a lot. All I really need to do is stall out the sand. Let's see. It does decide to sack it, which is good for us. I believe Hydreigon follows up here. And right now I don't have fear switching towards that Pokemon at all. And I'm not faster next reel. <sighs> Alright, at least I'm not 6 though. Like I felt that that was a very hard but was a real possibility. Was it worth getting those webs up and getting the bug bus going when Sludge Bomb did just what it needed to? If I Volt Switched out and went to Brown Sign, it would have been fine. It's actually quite frustrating because I do recognize it as one of those I didn't need to, so why did I? <laughs> right, Giggle, it's gone. Cool. Our man in 10 doing what it does. Uh, and now we know Mantine killed. Uh, Doug Trio, was it worth it? Probably not. And uh, Rose Raid killed um, Galventula. Don't know if I should call it a passive kill, really. It all happened in one turn, it was just a one fell swoop, really. I think he's starting to level whether or not I am Scarfed. But that damage output should have just saved one thing. Yeah, hence why he is here. And I do outspeed this guy if we get the sand away. So the question is, does it want a sword stance or not? I'm not physically bulky, so I do believe a sword stance variant of Exodrill will win versus me. This Leo only needs one sword stance, and uh, I'm just gonna hope for the ship. But I don't believe I have um, any other like natural response here. Earthquake, nice. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, I should get up rocks anyway, right? Because of Chandelure. Right, Soul Stance. Nasty boy. I guess it makes no sense trying to set up any types of um, <laughs> screens right now, at least. Go for Jara Ball. Hope that X Sister doesn't do too much. Don't carry Smackdown. Don't tell me this guy gets it. <laughs> X Sister should do a fair chunk, if not even half my HP. Shadow Claw, that's way worse, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks about right. And the sandstorm subsided. That's actually helpful. And uh, that means Jump Jump comes back. Oh, really? Ragnar does. It depends on my set, actually. Let's see. What did I decide to do with you? Some speed, but not all of it. Yeah, jump jump it is. Shadow Claw, that was... Did not expect that. That was cool. Sex so Grill. K.O. Bronze Song. Alright, they just go for Icicle Crash. Since he has a floater, Urkel would have been nice, but as long as that. Uh, what do you call it? Let's see, right, he sacks it. If he's not sashed, because that, if he was, then that would be really cool. That didn't happen. It's great. Swept by the sand alone, but Dragon is now our number one threat. I really hope the dog pulls. Yeah, I gotta do this. Hydreigon just kind of wins here if he plays it safe enough. Please go for Draco so I can recover. Dragon Pulse. How do we take this? Decently. That, that was kind of not what I was expecting. I mean, Manta can get a free switch into potential defog now. I know that, but I, I kind of feel alright with it. I think. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's see, Hydreigon deal with my sword fetch. The soft sand comes in.
I mean, it's not over, but... Like I said, they're probably gonna go for or either a roost or a defog. Roost, all right. So we've probably done the more aggressive play here, I think. I'll take the chance to recover myself. Right substitute. Hmm. See what he wants to do. Air slash. <sighs> Why isn't pleasant? Now is it? That's the game he wants to play. If it helps, you don't win the matchup. But at the same time, I don't want to take this through timer. Unless I'm forced to, that is. Because he needs to keep subbing, no matter what. And I can just recover a mirror code out of it. So this is a stalemate, no matter what. And I could potentially, unless I'm flinched, I can actually force him out of his substitutes. So good to play on him or roosting. Um, this means he has no intention of actually trying to win the game back so I guess we take that that 3-0 no we draw so that's alright 2 Scarlet So, I go for an Ice Beam here. I think he's gonna either Leech Seed me or Sludge Bomb. I think I've scared him enough for him to go for... a Leech Seed. Withdraws, alright, withdraws. To I. That's fair enough. Everything is shiny, I'm kinda... I won't deny it, I'm kinda jealous. to start asking the questions. This is a substitute set too. We see leftovers. I'm gonna scald here.
as I should be potentially faster. He keeps switching out. I don't know why though. Unless he wanna put me in range. Which I guess makes sense, but then again I just go to Surfetch and start knocking out things. Get the burn, get the burn. Nice. As everything should be slower. Right, Leafstorm's gonna eat me alive. Go for recover here. We'll see how much the Leafstorm do. Giga Drain. That's okay, actually. You're not passing through me through with that. I'm guessing it's going to leech slide this time. Toxic Spike, right, second layer. I do believe every mon is status, I don't know about that. We get the Ice Beam off, which is going to be great. And that absolutely puts him in a dangerous zone. I need to recover again, and he's gonna keep on recovering himself. Um, right, goes for lead seed. I do believe that's alright. So I never intended to stall, but you know, here I am. But yeah, if I want to knock him out, I'd say I'm in the same range I was before anyway. So I do believe the play here is to... I gotta recover. I was feeling this was gonna be one of those real awkward situations, you know, I'm getting there. But eventually he's gonna score a crit on me and that's gonna be what it is. need a safe switch in, I don't believe. I, I get myself close to the same amount of HP I was before anyway. But the question is, do I want to be that guy? I'm gonna keep doing that anyway. Basically, you want to sack this Pokemon and then start pummeling. I kind of want to do. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's sack play and then bring Yum Yum. Basically, I need to try to wrap up. And the only way I think you can do that is by bringing Darmanitan and bringing the Hurts. I can always miss a nice little crash, but if I do, I do that out of not wanting to stall anymore. Sure, I miss my moment in Mirror Coat, but I do believe I put myself in range where I can't win. And uh, I always had a timer potentially on my side here. Granted that I don't miss. And if I miss, I just need to recover and to beat the timer. But basically, if I win through that, I would say that he deserves to win, basically. So right, switch this out, go to I And... Uh, basically, I want to see if he actually gets KO'd by this. If anything, it's going to be interesting to see. Like I said, I can always miss, and there it is. 
Was that a shot? Possibly. Oh, that was nasty, wasn't it? Had he attacked me, he would have gotten it. Right, second item to the crash. Is it enough to KO? Please, 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 please. Nice. <laughs> Alright, the miss didn't matter. In essence, I guess. At least that miss didn't matter. Had it attacked me, it would possibly have mattered. Alright. Now comes the question. With the residual damage, can we kill the Mantine? Or we're actually gonna kill it, the best we just need to land. Dar man turn! Dar man turn! There we go! Freaking monkey business! It's a business! Mm. Eat! Junk! And <laughs> oh, thank you, UBL, for allowing this Pokemon. We are going... What is that? I, th um, I think we have five kills with this guy this game. And Moralt, all I can say is, I'm sorry. Because I know had you stayed in with Rose Raid and gone for Sludge Bomb, you, mo you, you would have won. I mean... Hands down, there is nothing to it, and it's all about that freaking Hydreigon. Like I said, I had nothing for it. I went in with the game knowing I had nothing for it, and it actually worked out. Now, I can always miss, and I know that's a possibility, so... Do I want to risk it, or do I want to go for that freaking Flablitz and just go out with all its glory? I want to take it down to a 1 0. That's the question, actually. I mean, do I want to really secure this win or do I want to level this one a little bit? The way I see it, I kind of want to. I mean, looking at the accuracy of this move, just to really, really get nervous. 90%. Or a flavor with 100%. That is power you don't want to rifle with. Oh fuck, let's do it. Don't remember, remember a pussy. There we go, Darmanitan. Absolute beast. Securing that 2 0 for me. You are an absolute hero. And, uh, well, we won. Who expected that? I certainly didn't. You hear the Irish, Irish Emerald? It wasn't impossible, it just was very, very clumsy. And uh, quite frankly, consider, I have like two free situations here I think are worth uh, debating and I'm gonna cover them as is, is fresh in my mind. First of all, um, Sludge Bomb on Galvantula. Masterful, it was glorious. I mean, that KO with Leech Seed and Poison taking out my Galvantula, I had I set in mind with Assault Vest, but realized I wanted Stick Web. It actually worked here, but losing Galvantula like that, that is just, as you saw, more because I knew had a Volt Switch into Bronze Song, I would have been fine. I would got off my rocks early, so it was, it was dumb. It was absolutely dumb. The second one was staying in with Bronze Song. Consider that he has Shadow Claw. I should have known about that. I was being very unconventional, thinking that he would have had, uh, since I had Braviary, um, but of course, Iron had covered that, so it's my mistake, and it's actually it looked horrific. Uh, it, it was great, clearly, for Moral. Moral got a massive momentum on me, and I got the momentum back the second I got the first impression off on uh, on Hydreigon. When when that beast fell, the game cleared up, and all of a sudden, you know, I saw picture in my head when um Tan comes back and just wins. It was just all about getting it in, and I couldn't. So basically, my lord was there and just, you know, what do I do? I can't do anything. I'm a stagnated Pokemon. I, I suck naturally. So so that what is what is what's doing, and that was that was fun. Um, I just like I switched a lot of Pokemon's back and forth, and that's of course gonna be covered in my second video. But had I had a Pokemon such as Jellycent, 
that of course would not have worked versus Hydreigon. Uh, it still would have been a Pokemon that would have been able to taunt Mantine, it would have been able to Strength Sap and Hex it or Nightshade it. Uh, I did not have that option this game, and uh, that's why I don't like Melodic. It's not a bad Pokemon, it's tremendously good wall, but my god, it's, it's stagnated and it's tough to use it well besides being, you know, not doing anything at all. Miracle was just kind of an inconvenient move to fill the void, and, and that was basically what Mantine was for me. Um, that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was actually down to the wire, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I won. But I also see, you know, had he not sacked Hydreigon like that, he would have had this game secured. There was been nothing to it. I'm, I'm fully aware of that. So, Marolt and uh, the Slovenian Slowbros, thank you so much for this game. Really enjoyed it. And uh, for everybody who's been watching, thank you for doing, of course, just so. And uh, make sure to follow us and you know, subscribe and whatnot to our future videos and more battles. So that's it for watching. Take care. Bye.